I have arrived. Only four minutes late today. I am here to play Buggos. I have nearly finished the game, and so I decided I should play it and finish it up. Because I like it. It's a good game. And I th don't think it'll take more than about an hour, at most, to finish it. <laughs> um, so, I intend to play a different game afterwards, uh, provided I actually can finish it within an hour. <laughs> if I can't, then this might just be the whole stream. But if I can finish it, then I'll play something else. Um, yeah, this game is fantastic. I love it. I wish it was longer. They have a survival mode, I think, after the fact, um, if you want to play that, but I don't love survival stuff, because progression is kind of where I'm all about uh, in games, generally speaking, so this little, like, tech tree thing really just does it for me. I love I love this sort of thing. It's, rid <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I like it a lot. Um, so what should I level up? I think warriors were something I was working on getting stronger because they felt kind of underwhelming, but they don't... I don't know how much better they could get. Stronger legs makes them move faster and they have more control. I don't really need these. Mothers are nice. Having them split into spawn, uh, swarmers on death would be pretty strong too, I think. This is just spawning more at a time, moving faster. It's all pretty useful. The regen aura is something I wanted to make sure I got. Because these things are designed to like buff your allies. Floor traps are faster, it's pretty nice. That's not necessary. Defender legs move faster. Defenders are pretty okay. They're not really meant to be fast. They're meant to defend. Wasps move faster. I think that's probably pretty good, because I use wasps for like my emergency unit when I'm losing. Because <laughs> wasps wasps are just like incredibly strong. Boom slugs explode larger. That's pretty good. I like them for taking out big buildings. Let's see, where's the easiest one? Oh, we got two sevens. Hmm. Interesting. So that's the final military compound. It clearly meant to be played last. So it's five, six, seven, seven, eight, ten. We're going to the radiation wall. Is this the first time I've seen radiation in the game? It is. Interesting. So before, they've had radiation as a stat, but I've never seen it. And I'm like, been curious about it the entire time. I don't know why they haven't like introduced it until just now. Maybe it's a DLC only thing, maybe that's the reason. Oh, actually I need those. Uh, we're gonna get attacked immediately, obviously. I think I want to get walls up and running pretty quickly. I don't know the exact size of their attack force. Um, I also don't remember how to delete. There you go. All I do know is that <laughs> I need to build up fast. Because they'll really come at me if I'm not ready. This feels very fast. Is this always the speed it's been? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, we got our builders building. I'm over here now. Once I get these walls up, I'll be mostly safe. Purely just because the um, the enemies don't know how to handle walls very well. Pustules generating me a constant supply of food is excellent. I want to keep the mothers back because I'm using them to generate swarmers who I'm going to send in uh, to clear up my population. Ideally, I'll get the builders to put down floors, carpets, to, um, to increase my nutrient production and the speed at which my units can traverse. Got lots of mothers. I'm gonna turn the mothers off for now. Turn on defenders. Because we have plenty of swarmers. Swarmers are meant to distract the units, so I'm using them to distract as I move up. Large area of effect bug damaging device, 60 health. Okay, I might need an artillery piece just to like get me a little bit of extra damage on the further enemies. Just keep sending out those bugs. Maybe even move them to attack off in the distance there. A Titan Egg or two wouldn't go awry here either. 
or three, purely because I need to have a little bit of, like, uh, staying power, I guess. I need something that can live long enough to take a few hits and move on. And that seems like a reasonable choice. Because see, now we're getting kind of pushed back a bit. I need to turn off the spawn of the defenders and move the defenders up to here. They can strip armor now, so they should be pretty strong against these enemies. Especially if I send a lot of them at once. However, we are losing a lot of bugs. A lot of our dear buggos have died very quickly. Hmm. Once the titans get made, I think I can push a little bit further in, but this sure is a lot of enemies. It's really up in my, my grill, you know? There's more infinite spawns. Not a very large map. I think that's the problem, is it's such a small map that they can really push in hard. Like, really aggressively. Hey, Opatot, how you doing? First, hello. You're not new. 13-day <laughs> streak? Wow. Well done. How's your stream? <laughs> doing well? Good. I'm doing all right. I had a lot of fun watching. Thanks for the help. No problem. I didn't. I didn't help that much. I just sort of said something every once in a while when you saw when you sounded like you might be confused or need help. Also, I don't remember Fallout 3 very much because I played it on like launch, <laughs> like in 2008 or whatever, whenever that game came out. Um, so so I didn't really have that much information to help with. I missed the most exciting part. Oh no! What happened? Did you get eaten by a zombie? Or a ghoul, I guess. Fought a big yellow super monster. Dudes. And the even bigger one? Oh, did you fight a, um... Oh God, what are they called? Like, Goliaths or something? Is that what they're called? The radio tower. Oh, yeah. Behemoth, that's what it is. Yeah, Behemoth. I'm <laughs> super losing. Well, awesome. Sorry, it's a shame I missed it, but cool. How was it? Was it hard? Were you able to be able to show it who's boss? Oh no. <laughs> I'm definitely losing. I could probably maybe Maybe I could put, like, um, boom slugs in. They're really clustered together right here. I might be able to get the boom slugs in there. Or not. Giant thing running at you at the end, and you can you only snail crawl away. Oh, no, did you get, like, injured? Or is it just because the, the movement's slow? It killed you once, but you got it next time. Nice, good job. I just died. <laughs> need to do immediately is start sending an incredible amount of enemies, or allies I guess, straight up here. As many as I can, just to like sort of get them on the run. I probably don't need four spawners, I don't know why I put that many in there. Oh, that's my entire area used up. Uh, I'm gonna drop off them and use purely these bugs to do stuff for now. The mothers are working fine. Move them up. I should probably add a few more mothers, but I need to get the builders go up and running first. Gonna eat some food? Are you gonna lurk for a while? All right, cool, Leo. Hey, Michi, how you doing? I see that I see you here. <laughs> Build these structures, and then I'm, I can push forward. I think what I need is something range to hit these towers. They have a really short range, but when the enemies like this swarm up, I can't really fight them. Builders need to go that direction now. I can get the structures up and running. I can start defending a bit better, as always. Um, chasing as much nutrients as I can handle for now. 
I don't really want the builder bugs out there, but it's all I can produce right now. I didn't make enough mother swarm spawners, whatever. Need to be back in the really back, like far back here, and have just a constant supply of swarmers going. Not good on the sleepy thing lately. That's not good. I hope it improves, but I understand. Um, doesn't help you factory set your phone today and you spent all night trying to log back into everything. Oh gosh, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something you just gotta do every once in a while. <laughs> but, like, that does, that's really annoying for sure. Okay, I am struggling. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pushing forward or not. These artillery pieces are doing some work. I need them to hit, like, back here, but I wish I, I can't control where they fire. One's like a, a dream now. Nice. I really should factor or set my phone, but it's <laughs> it's really old, and I'm, I'm just worried it won't work if I decide to do that. Because, <laughs> like, it barely turns on and does anything as is. And it's not, like, it's just because it's such an old phone. Oh, maybe it might be wiser to put multiple spawns on, because the nutrient cost for each spawn increases when you focus. Focus build them. It's not working regardless. I'm definitely getting like my butt whooped over here. Hmm. What is a better option? This isn't going to work, so I'm going to back out and try again. I guess builders do need to be the first thing up and running. I need builders to just do their thing. I need tons and tons of builders. I can't not have builders. I need at least three hives, because I need to produce a lot of bugs all at once. Buggos, if you will. Getting these spore launchers up is probably just a smart move to do earlier than I've been doing them. Maybe even two rows of them. Actually, I don't really need them down here at all. They don't come down that far that and delete all these but more pustules the artillery is a good idea but I think it just uses up too many resources and doesn't do enough damage to matter as soon as I get all those down start producing defenders to try and get them into here to do some proper damage I mean, I'm glad your phone's running better it's always a nightmare when it just takes forever to do anything, and it gets like that weird, like, laggy thing when you're trying to scroll it. No, oh, stop getting distracted. I need you to attack the pillars, not the people. Please. Please. Ah, oh, well. Not working very well. Maybe I should go with wasps. Maybe wasps is the way. <laughs> They've always been the way before. Maybe it would help to have them again. Yeah, these defender bugs aren't doing much. They're they're too expensive, and I don't have enough production. The builders are pretty good, and they they actually build the floors, which give everything more defense. And there was a lot of time I had to like push forward here. Maybe I didn't need to put down the the other ones. Can I? If I can get these walls up, I can definitely defend a bit more. But they just don't like to let me build them. By the time I do get them up and running, I'm still I'm being like up bombarded by so many I can't really handle it. They're too weak to go into the radiation themselves, so I definitely need bigger bugs to go in there. I make the warriors and hold them back here. And I can kind of make them a force to rush in all at once. Okay, I'm gonna move these bugs up here to try and spread the floor. Good, good, good. I'm gonna send. The, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna send them down here. I'm gonna send the warrior bugs down this way and kind of like try to subvert by going around the edge. I don't know how well that's gonna work out for me, considering they really like to just sort of go straight into the combat. But ooh, they die really quick, don't they? And they got. They actually got into the fight, which is better than I was expecting, but it's certainly not <laughs> not enough. Uh, alright. Make defender bugs instead, I guess. They are pushing slowly in, more and more. Defender bugs have incredible range. 
so I feasibly can hold them off if I can just get the defensive structures back up, but they take so much to make that I can't use them. I have to keep on, like, turning on and off my production. Make sure they're being made at a reasonable pace. Builder bugs hang out back here until things get destroyed again. They're pushing up. They're getting further than I expected them to. I guess my production finally took off. I need them to come back here and put down the floors that I'm missing. Maybe over here, too, now that that wall's been destroyed. And this wall's getting destroyed, too, actually. Okay, turn off the builder bugs. So we can just make defensive bugs for now. Decent number in there. We destroyed a lot of tanks. I just need to get rid of these. It's almost dead. Oh, we got one. Okay, good. That's better than I've done so far, so I think I've got the right strategy. Build some more builder bugs. Turn off the defender bugs. <laughs> this is buggos. Nice, okay. It's it's a definitely like a it's a battle of attrition for sure. Because now I've realized that they have little robots that help build back up their structures. Swarm them in there, maybe, to like push forward enough to like try and get in there and put down a floor where their their buildings are. I can't quite make it though. I'm building more I'm building more than they can handle. So I think that's <laughs> definitely something to be proud of. The little little builder bots are, are like building up their structures faster than I can deal with them though. Go up that direction. Can you get up there? Can I build a bunch of floor traps to deal with anybody who pushes in too far? The answer is probably. Oh, actually, we're getting pretty far in there. All things considered. We're starting to run out of food because I turned off food production, but... Honestly, it's better than I thought it would be. I can actually move some of these turrets up, too, to start pushing a little bit further. Maybe even destroy, like, a couple of walls and drop down some artillery. Build the walls a little bit closer. That. Get rid of these. These. Those artillery pieces are going to be necessary. I need them to hit the things in the back. I don't need them to hit the soldiers. I just need to hit, like, the towers back here. So I can get a little bit of, like... Well, hopefully this. But since they have little robots roaming around, I don't really have much choice what to do. Ah, they got, like, a, they got their, their mass up. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. They've pushed forward more than I can handle now. Bugs just hang back here. Stay in, in defensive positions. No, that's not working. <laughs> they immediately took advantage of me pushing, or like not pushing back. I mean, all problems will be solved by wasps. Maybe I should just make some wasps in the background and just have it. Have them slowly get produced back here. And then defend. Until I'm ready to uh, until I'm ready to like attack. They're pushing in much further than I'd like them to, of course. But I'm getting a lot of wasps. That's all that matters. They do ton, a ton of damage, but I can't really do much. I need to like knock out these satellite things, not satellite, the solar cells, because that's what's going to be causing the most problems for me. Is that they because they produce like little mechs. Go, my wasps, attack! Turn off wasp spawn so I can get some <laughs> more builders on the way. To rebuild all the stuff that's been destroyed while my wasps do some proper damage. Wow, they actually did a lot of damage. They're the best they're the best bug in the game. They're so incredibly strong, it's outrageous. Like every time I play this game, I'm like <laughs> amazed at how strong they are. Compared to every other bug. Okay, we we, we have them on the back foot finally. They're going to be able to generate more than I can handle, but I can at least try to push forward a little bit further every time. If I can get them to come down here and like spread this carpet further, I can start trying to push into these solar arrays. And I can try to block off this section here. You can't probably see my mouse very well. 
fuck up this section here, I can then take advantage of all this space to build on. I just have to do a little bit of work first. Give me some more wasps, put them back here. Gonna do another wave assault with the wasps. Phew, we got a lot of wasps. Go, go, go! We took out two of their five towers, and they're gonna rebuild them immediately, so it's not like it matters, but... Something. Okay, we got a good horde of wasps, so I'm going to send them in on attack mode. Go. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Whee! I might even be able to send them all the way up here, just to, like, push them back a bit further. Oh my goodness, the wasps. They're so good. Look at this. This is just not fair. <laughs> just knock out that entire army. Push into, like, the first operational base. Okay, good, good, good. Now I can start building defenses here. Spore launchers, please. Just all over. Up here, please. Bugs. They rebuilt their defenses there, which is fine, because I'm just going to build some here. I don't need those there. I don't know why I put those there. It's fine. I'm kind of panicking, that's why. I finally got a little bit of a leeway here to work with, so I'm going to try and take as much advantage of it as I, as I can. Stumbling over my words a bit. I need some artillery pieces to help me. In the bugs this direction, please. Wasps, stop producing. I need more builders. Go, wasp, go! Yeah, see, they've got that chokehold pretty pretty well handled. I'll need to need to reinforce this pretty well. But it's looking all right as far as things go. Got an incredible amount of builder bugs here. Build those up, disable these three. Nice, nice, nice. Pustules, please. Which is still really gross to say, but is what they is. Work great. Okay, up here, please. Alright. Now we've got a decent amount of defense here. I'm going to begin the wasp generation again. <laughs> now we're producing so much food that I don't think I have to worry about ever running out. You keep the, the builder bugs building away. I wish I could split their forces to go this direction and this direction at the same time. I might be able to feasibly by putting it here. It might cause them to split, but I imagine they'll all just go... Yeah, they'll all just go on the easiest path. Move it there, maybe? Either way. The bugs, the wasps are ready to go, so send them in to... <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. Send them in to just blast apart everything here. game lagged a little bit because of how many bugs there are getting murdered right now and how many bugs are spawning because all every wasp spawns like four little bugs and it dies that allows me to send up these bugs to give everybody and all my other buggos more defense because those carpets are very good nice can I build a couple titan eggs down here I kind of didn't leave enough room for that Buggos are making progress. Up there. So there is five levels, so provided they all take around 20 minutes, which so far doesn't look like the case, um, I will be able to eat this in an hour. Provided there's no secret levels afterwards. More artillery, please. I don't really need any more of these. I'm going to put them down anyway. Ooh, actually, what I should do is delete. Oop. Oh, well, I won. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I won. <laughs> the wasps, they're so strong. All right, cool. Medical center. Oh, and oh yeah, my evolution points, of course. Giving the wasps more speed would probably be a smart idea considering how often I use them, honestly. 
I did get the more speed, okay. So more influence, I probably don't need. They, I kind of like them swarming all over the place. Boom slug thicker skin sounds great. Warrior influence is just not that useful. The spiked carapace on the titans might be helpful, but they're not, I don't use them that often. It's kind of getting to that stage where I don't really use the bugs that much, so they're not that useful to level certain ones. I'll give them all swarmers more influence so I can tell them to go a certain direction easier. Now we can attack. So what's special about this place? A uh, bunch of radiation there, two split locations, and a really large map. Alright, I can work with this probably. Quest jewels all over the place. I don't want to get locked into this position here. I'm going to go, I think, there, there, and I guess there, because that's going to destroy everything. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I think we need some spore launchers on either side for defense. A couple of artillery pieces. I say a couple, I mean a lot. Turn off every bug that isn't builders, because I'm just making a mess here. Everything except builders, please. And mothers. Mothers can stay. They're useful for just producing, like, swarmers to harass with. Alright. And more of these things. I just need more food generation. And the more buildings I put down, the less likely these little bugs are going to be to get me. Because they're going to keep building and building and building in my positions the longer it takes me to like, claim the territory. They're going at it, slowly. I got my artillery pieces, which is not like the greatest thing for me to have up first, but I got them. They're there. We have attacks coming in now. We're generating enough now that I think we can push them back. But we didn't get our defensive walls up. I should have put the walls here. Where the artillery pieces are. Because now that these solar panels are just being a nuisance, I have to figure out a way to push back that. We're not producing enough bugs after all. I may have to do the wasp tactic again immediately. Go! Oh. There's not very many of you, but it's probably enough to handle this tiny horde of humans. It was. Clone turn off the wasps again. The builder's gonna push forward a bit. Just harass a bit, please. I just need them to like stop building. <laughs> just briefly. I need to get those walls back up. That's all I need. As soon as I get those walls up, I'll be fine. But I made the mistake of not committing hard enough to one location. I can easily get those those laser beams destroyed, but they have to go around the outside and edge of the map, and that requires the wasps. But since there's so many enemies like in the center, I need to get them like here, and then I can attack there. But because there's so many enemies like around this location, they don't want to like obey those orders, and they would get rebuilt immediately anyway. Yeah, I might, I'm gonna have to restart. I think I didn't. I didn't. I didn't move fast enough. Okay. So first and foremost, walls here. Then these things turn off everything that isn't wasps and builders. Wasps down here, builders up here. Need the walls up and running before anything else. I don't care about all that. Spore launchers probably would be good to have up too. Once that's done, I'll worry about it. I need not generate enough food, I guess. Turn off wasps again. I think I can't do much. I just need builders to do their thing. I didn't mean to turn that off. I need to move the mothers down here so they can just produce units when I'm not paying attention. Keep on swarming up there. Okay, we got our turrets up. They're not fully finished yet, but they're getting there. 
once they're finished, I'll um, I'll start putting the pustules down, so I can start generating food. That's close enough. We got all the ones that are important. I'm not gonna do artillery pieces. That was a that was a fun idea, but it didn't work out clearly. You know, <laughs> because they pushed in and destroyed everything. Uh, can I get my wasps up here, please? I don't know if they'll be able to make it up there, but I'm going to try. Got shot down immediately, it looks like. Although we did get a couple kills, that's something. Okay, make some more mothers. I'm going to have the mother... I'm going to try to get five mothers down here. And then I'm going to switch pure builders and try to push forward a bit more. There we go. Wasps are hanging out up there. They're not very, not very many of them, but they're there. All right, builder swarm's good. Move the builders up over to here, rather. Need them to push out this direction because there's like no easy way to push through this for now. Not until the wasps hoard up here. The more of them that get there, the easier it'll be to push through this direction and like, like close off this edge of the map. Once I, once I destroy their reinforcements, I'll be fine. I'm not worried about these little ones, because I'm not. there's nothing to like be worried about. Alright, wasps can go attack now. They should be able to destroy all of those. No issues. Once that's done, I'm going to try and send them to attack these down here. I'm going to put up a wall here. There's my builders up there. All the wasps defend me. Nice, nice. It's working, kind of. Put up some defensive turrets. Some of these babies. Drop down some artillery pieces here. Swarmers can just hold, like, this middle ground. Mothers can move up to, like... This section is just, like, sort of a lost cause. None of these enemies can get over this wall, except for, like, these little things here, so I'm not worried about that at all. It's basically just a big hook. Like, nothing can attack me from this edge, since it's only the ones above me. Wasps? There. Into the center again. Oh, no, your sub? No! Oh, wait. No, you have your sub, don't you? I thought it, re I thought it renewed yesterday. I feel like I distinctly remember <laughs> it re renewing. Didn't renew? Really? Hmm. I don't know. It says here in my log that Laziest Patar resub for one month. Yesterday. I'm not sure. That's very strange. All lies. Like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Wonder why. No, you're right. It's not there. Huh. Strange. You try to restart Twitch? Alright. Hopefully it works. Hmm. The wasps. Oh no. Somehow we destroyed one thing there. Oh, the artillery. Crap. I actually don't want that artillery to keep firing. I need it to not destroy those walls. I don't think I don't think they can get through there yet, because there's like a tower in the way. But if they destroyed any of those other walls, they would just rush through here and destroy me. But it's weird to say that I actually need to like make myself a bit less defended. And make sure I don't get attacked from the wrong side. Go ahead and make all these up. I don't know what the little bots are trying to do. They can't rebuild over here. Yeah, 
I'm going to try and finish off that flooring there. We're doing okay. We're not doing great. I have a lot of food now, so I'm going to actually switch off of food production, go to uh, damage. And all of my units should be feasibly able to attack here. These ones have a healing aura and armor, but they're not going to live. I don't. The Titans just don't seem very well, very like very well balanced. And this are meant to have like a lot of them, because I know that they don't. Um, they don't count towards your unit cap. The Titans can probably just push in really, really hard and far without being like, uh, like damaged, right? If there's like a lot of them, like you can put them in really, really aggressively. I might actually try making, like, hundreds of them just for fun to see what happens. You're back? Not sure what happened yesterday? Yeah, I don't know either. If it, if it, I, it just seemed like it was resubbed, but maybe not. I'm sorry to hear that, regardless. It's kind of a shame. I don't know what it was, but... I guess it is what it is. I'm going to delete all of these and turn them all into Titan eggs. Cancel the orders on the builders, and they can just go wherever they want. Uh, where's the next expansion going to be? I guess to here. Because that's where it starts to become a choke point again. Send the wasps in. I can push forward enough to get to there. Build a wall here. Well, regardless, you're welcome to hang out in my chat without a sub, if you like. <laughs> okay, the swarmers can just go in for fun, because I have nothing to do with them. Wasps can give it a shot as well, and Titans, of course, can try too. Where's my mothers? Oh, they're all the way down there. Wow, the Titans are actually getting pretty far in there. I, they're, they're taking a lot of damage, but they're getting in there. Okay, now that I've pushed forward this far, can I get my bugs to lay their, their goopy eggs all over the floor? Wait for me to un-VIP you for lack of sub. What? <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. I'm not so cruel. Or am I? Fallout's oh, terrifying. I I haven't played Fallout 3 in a long time, but I remember Fallout 4 had a lot of spots where it really scared me when like things popped out. It has such an eerie, like, quality to it, generally. Like, since everything's, like, sort of grounded in reality, everything's a little bit scarier. Just from, like, subconsciously, like, recognizing, like, buildings and structures in, like, that dilapidated form. And seeing, like, so many humanoid creatures, like, in different sort of fashions. It's just, like, a weird, a weird, creepy feeling about everything. It's, it's really good. I like it. Yeah, you do intend to play it some more. You're gonna, you gonna put a, put a hold on it. Buggos. I think I'm probably safe to toss down. Well, I guess I am running out of food, so maybe not. I say I'm probably safe to put down some artillery, but I guess I need to put more food in for that. Keep my defenses up just in case. Okay, we're getting in there. Just doing some proper work. Nothing's really happening with everything. The wasps are going at it. Oh, I need to move the spawners up. Whoops. Something I just forgot to do completely. Think you'll... Oh, yeah. I think you will just be a little while because your trip. Yeah, okay. How long is your trip going to last?
Whee! A big area to defend. I probably don't need to put it that much there. And put some more spawners here. More Titan eggs here. If these all get built, I'll start worrying about that. I'm gonna go ahead and gather all my wasps in the center again. Let my Titans just sort of <laughs> wash over the enemy. Uh, I'm gonna disable these. The Titan eggs won't get made, so they're just gonna be stuck there doing nothing. Not for a while, at least. Well, well, they're they're like gestating right now. Once they finish popping, then we're gonna go up here and these ones will spawn instead. This thing takes a lot of time to kill. I guess it's probably because I'm not using like things to stack. If I make some defender bugs, they'll strip the armor and get rid of it. Okay, the wasps can rush over here to do some work on the, the reinforcements. There you go. Turn off the builder bugs and the defender bugs and start pumping out like boom slugs for fun, I guess? Just because I'm curious to see how effective they are on mass. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you can just use it, because I'm pretty sure it's a follow remote. <laughs> uh, grip and rip. Gar. You forgot it's a follow remote, yeah. Oh, I'm running out of food really fast, what the heck? I thought I was pretty well handled for food, but I just been like, I guess those bomb slugs take a lot. It's the sound he makes when he drinks it like a pirate. <laughs> Gar, that that be a drinking for sure. Bomb slugs are <laughs> woefully ineffective on their own. There's no such thing as like a sapper rush with the <laughs> with the poor bugs, the poor sluggoos. They turn off the bomb slugs. They're not, they're just not doing anything. I'm actually like getting pushed back now because I stopped using the wasps. Aw, poor bugs. He's got my pop cap. Yeah, they're pushing really hard right here. Go, bugs. Swarm them. Consume their flesh. Repopulate. Yeah, wa watching you play Fallout really made me want to play Fallout. Because Fallout New Vegas is a game I've never played. Well, I played very little of, and I really want to play it. And watching you play 3 made me want to play it really bad. <laughs> the wasp swarm, because that's clearly the only way to play the game. <laughs> Just use the wasps. It's very funny. This is, like, the best strategy. I expected the flyers to be weak and, like, very situational, but they're just the best unit. Go, my wasps. Kill them all. Sting them. That's the noise that wasps make. Swarmers can just go up here and attack. You made a bunch of people want to play it. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. It's good. It's a good game, and it's fun to watch other people experience it for the first time. The, uh... <laughs> oh, gosh, like... Every time you got jump scared by a mole rat. It was just, 
It's just really funny. <laughs> gave me issue baby fever earlier. Yeah, I was there for that too. I was there from the very start of that stream. I, I, I came in like 30 minutes in when the screen was still black and you were having trouble getting the capture to work. I was there that whole time. <laughs> Those dang mole rats. Yeah, they're... There's a... They're, they're really jumpy. They really come at you. They're like the the wolves from Skyrim, where they just sort of like come up on you when you're not expecting them and then get you. They're very fast. Well, they're very fast when you're not expecting them. But like when you're like watching them run you down, trying to shoot them, it's really slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching, because you were like when you were like experimenting with vats or whatever for the first time, <laughs> just watching you shoot the mole rat running at you was really funny. <sighs> but, but yeah, it was good. It was a good time. It was a good stream. Kill. Kill the giant robots that are somehow stopping me from attacking them. Oh, I turned off wasp production, that's why. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't get to hang out in your streams very often or for very long, but today I was like taking a break from doing anything because I was, I was having headaches, so I just sat in there the entire time, just like <laughs> browsing on my phone and doing nothing. Usually I'll try to pop in for like a half an hour every once in a while, just to see what's going on. Especially with the new, when you, with you playing Skyrim recently, is a game that I like enjoy watching a lot. It's just kind of fun watching new people or people play the game differently than I would. Because I play it very, I play the, like those sorts of games. I haven't, I've played Skyrim quite a bit, but I haven't like, beaten it, so I do intend to play that on stream at some point. But. When I play, like, those kinds of games, I always play, like, the generic knight, which just wears heavy armor, sword, and shield. So watching, like, <laughs> stealth archer, Patat, you know, go around sneak, sneak shooting things in the head from on top of a cliff while their AI is <laughs> not quite working properly is very funny. One of them snuck through. One of, the, one of those little robots snuck right through right there. <laughs> Rebuilt one of their walls. Okay, I think we're at a stage where I can put these up here instead of back there, so I can actually like start to spawn them in faster and closer. Back not to be too sneaky or snipery in this playthrough, but you really enjoy sniping in games, so no promises. Yeah, I mean, it, just do what you like, as, as long as you're having fun. It's always kind of fun to watch. It's just, like, it's it's very silly to watch people be, like, snipers in games, because it's just it's just kind of interesting to watch um, enemies who have no idea where you are <laughs> suddenly fall over. And, like, their, their allies are like, what's happening? Ah! And they just run around in circles for a while. Yeah, so as long as you're enjoying yourself, by all means. It must be the wind. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's very funny because like the like the AI in Skyrim, as far as like AI in video games goes, isn't that bad. But like, it's just not really set up for like the the, the stealth mechanics very well. Where, 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 wait, are there still enemies alive? Where? Is it just that one, like, tower up here that I didn't break? Right here? I guess it must be. There's nothing else around. Is that, is that really, <laughs> that one, like, wall gonna give me a hard time? Yeah, your friend falls over to I'm imagining things. Like, like, it's always, like, with their finger, like, on their neck, checking for a pulse. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just really silly. Uh, energy generator. All oh, right, I of course have evolutions available. Hmm, what do I want to 
want to do here. Honestly, with how many bugs I died really early on, getting this might be helpful. Having to like mass produce bugs with like them constantly dying, just giving me a little bit of a refresh would be really helpful, I think. And having the mother lay more eggs faster might also be pretty useful. Because so I do use the swarm mothers a lot, just for the sake of like getting more units on the battlefield without having to produce them. So having the just starting off with like three that are always producing like two at a time is very good. I want f at least five of these mothers. Get these open. They're also green, so they're hard to like differentiate. Want to get two more hives, please, in this corner, and then everything here can be pustules. Gross, gross pustules. Hey, Bert, how you doing? It's going all right. Just having a having a good time being buggos, <laughs> chatting about the dot stream. <laughs> really enjoyed your chat and stream today. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm glad I'm glad to be there. I prefer lurking. You don't want to think I'm pressuring you into talking more. <laughs> no, it's okay. I understand. Want to let you know that I generally enjoy the company and tips and tricks. Yeah, well, the <laughs> like, I think the first time I said anything was, oh god, what was it? Was it like, what what did I? What was the first thing I said in there? It was, I think it was around the time you were trying to figure out the hacking mini game. No, it wasn't that. I said something before that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but like, I needed, I knew I needed the help with the hacking mini game because like it's so convoluted and strange. It doesn't make any sense. And, like, the only reason I figured it out is because, like, I had a friend who had a friend who told them how to do it. And I'm like, I need to, this is a, this is one that's not, <laughs> this is not very clear what you need to do. But I thought I should help out a little bit there, at least. Go, bugs, go. I have a lot of you for some reason. Oh, because I didn't turn off the mother swarm by accident. Whoops. I don't know why I had so many of them just sitting around. Uh, I might make some titans here. Oh, that's that's actually a, a terrible idea. Don't do that. They use up way too much resources. Uh, instead, make more of these pustules, because I'm about to have a really bad time. <laughs> They're about to push really close into this area. Because I didn't re I didn't produce my bugs fast enough. Swarms! <laughs> Very much appreciated, yeah. Defeated motor? That's one of the one of the bosses in Valheim, right? Congratulations! Is that the one that you kept dying on earlier? Well, you were, well, I think earlier, like the other day. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, good. I'd also, probably let Displace know that I'm allowed to say anything I want in your stream. I <laughs> that sounds like I'm gonna say something bad. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't need to be able to say I don't 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 give me special like treatment. I don't want to be able to say anything here, chat. The power is too great. <laughs> You're not gonna spoil anything for you. And he was really watching for spoilers today. Yeah, they they were they were really quick on the trigger with that one spoiler. I I, don't, I couldn't even read. It. I think it was about the super mutants. Um, but there was one person who got like it instantly message deleted and I was like uh, in I was like halfway through reading it and when it got deleted and I was like wow oh, the, I was like why do I have why am I losing so bad because I have a million bugs here ready to go and attack go my bugs yes kill them <laughs> They defended this area quite well, I've realized, because of this thing here. <laughs> I need to push in here and then conquer this whole section here. I just need to get these destroyed, and then I can build a defensive wall, like, along this edge. There you go. Go over here and do the same thing here. Most of your deaths are you trying to retrieve your corpses. Your dozen corpses, yeah. You meant about games? Don't go swearing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't abuse that power, probably. 
Oh my god, I need to really stop these things from getting built. That was a that was a rough a rough shot. That did a lot of damage. Now I need to get I need to get some more bases here, because this is a really good defensive position. Go into there, please. The wasps are doing their waspy things. I need more of these pustules around the place. I'm generating a lot of stuff, so I probably could put some uh, artillery down right here in the middle and then get some more pustules up here. Turn off production on the lower end because I don't think I'll need it. There. Okay, we're good there. I need to get wasps up into this location because this is purely fine. Like, both of these areas are totally defended by the enemies, which means I don't need to worry about them like pushing further out until I decide to attack, which could be just right now, actually. I can put my bugs up here. My wasps, just have them sit there for now. They can't be hit from by most of the enemies because it's an impassable wall. The wasps are so broken. They're so incredibly strong. <laughs> they're like too strong. I know I say this every single stream I play this on, but it's, they're so strong. They have too much like advantages and not enough like disadvantages. They have the most attack. They have the most speed. They can fly over impassable terrain. Like, <laughs> they're so good. They can, when they die, they spawn a bunch of enemies that are really cheap to produce. They're so good. Okay, we've just we've separated off this whole section of the map now. Now I'm safe to just produce those walls, get some spore launchers up to defend them. And sort of like, <laughs> ride on my laurels. I'll read your ch chat in just a second. Uh oh, uh, that's not nearly as many as I thought it was. Okay, defender bugs go, swarmer bugs go, uh, wasps go. Ads no. Okay, I'll wait. I won't respond until the ads are done. Not that you can hear me, of course, but just know that I won't. Give <laughs> ads for so long. Oh no. I swear your sub got renewed, Vince. I don't know why it's not. Ta-da! Area conquered. I think that that, uh, that evolution I got that gave the buggos, like, more food re returned to me every death was a really good idea. That made it a lot easier to manage the resources early on. Uh, more mother swarmer spawns seems great. And more control over the wasps, maybe? Wouldn't be too bad. I actually starting nutrients. I didn't even realize I hadn't maxed that out yet. Jeez. Asian ship is next. Off everything that isn't a mother or other. I don't need these floor traps. Oh, that's a trap. It, the floor traps are a trap. I don't need those there. I need walls and turrets. I don't need turrets here. I need hives and pustules. There you go. And then I need to get all my swarmers in there, I guess? I need to push forward to grab this section here. That means I need to destroy those, but which means I can't get them. So I need to go this direction, I guess. I need to build a wall like along this edge. Swarmers are going. They're they're doing. Now the mothers need to not go in. They decided to go in anyway. That's fine. I didn't need them anyway. That's, that's perfectly acceptable. Swarmers are doing work. Wasps are doing their wasp thing. We got in there. Just need them to take a bit of that terrain. I'm gonna send my wasps in now, which is just, you know, the way you do things. They're gonna get stuck on this <laughs> this pod for a long time, but it's gonna die pretty quick. 
Back. All right. Now I'm going to read all the chats you sent. <laughs> because I hadn't read any of them while I was waiting for you to get back. <clears throat> anyway. But yeah, so... Really is great, but your streams overlap tonight, so you couldn't be there as much. Yeah, I see. I seen them say a couple of things in chat, but I, I don't. I don't follow Billy, not for any reason. I just haven't done. Um, I, I, I have. I have following like I think I'm following like thirty people or something like that, and that's that's too many. I can barely keep up. I'm like losing my mind already. Um. Yeah. You love Skywave, but he hasn't been in your stream quite as much since he stopped playing the Brata Pets. I mean, that makes sense. A lot of people are, like, even even if like, they really enjoy the streamer, if you're not playing something that they like, a lot of times it, they just won't tag in, and that makes perfect sense. Or, like, you know, because I have like, for instance, I haven't seen Virgil in a while. <laughs> I don't know where they went, but they haven't, they haven't checked in for a few days. I assume they're off watching somebody else or busy, you know. Um, was I? Oh, and you, as as your first mod, you didn't really know what to ask of him, so it's really your fault. I don't say that. Was I there? The octagon joke. Oh yeah, the 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 dog headagon or whatever it was. <laughs> Yeah, I was there for that. It was really funny. Too many? Too many follow- oh, I see, because you have a lot of people you're following, I gotcha. Well, I, too many for me. I, I just can't keep up, and I feel like it's- I, I feel like I- if I- if I'm- I don't know how to explain, <laughs> explain this. I feel like if I can't turn on their stream to, like, hang out in their chat, or at least hang out and lurk, I shouldn't be following, because I, I just don't have the time to, like, keep... Because I'm always having something up in the background already. And having a stream up in the background that I can't, like, pay attention to or interact with, I feel like is difficult for me to reason. I don't know. Something like that. an easy way to see the number of people you're following. Oh, there's a way, apparently. Yeah, I don't know how many people I'm following, but I, I, most of them are, like, big names, and then more recently it's been a couple of smaller names. People that I've, like, either rated or have rated me. Or people that are, in, like, talking in the chat every once in a while. Uh, should I push into there? I could just push into there and, del like, delete their main base, but I worry that that's going to be a bit of a stretch. Okay, get these ones up here. Build these on the path. Get some of these big ones in there ready to go. Add some more pustules on these paths. I didn't even build up this area. I just, like, took it over and then didn't do anything with it. I'm going to add some artillery back there, I think. It's a good place for artillery. It's untouchable. Strategically sound position. And send all of my swarmers in at once, because i got lots and lots ready to go. Turn off the boss production so I can only get builders. Move the mothers up so they can help me easier. And the builders are just going to generate all of this terrain for me at any given time. 900 followers? No, 900 channels, I see. No, you follow 900 channels. You definitely don't follow 900, maybe 100. Showing 900 no matter what for you. Something's broken. Oh, okay, cool. You're at 145. Well, that's still a lot. Like, I don't I don't know the exact numbers, but I have a decent amount of people I follow. I guess I can just look. Oh, not that many, actually. 3, 6, 12, 15, 18, 21. I can't do the I can't be bothered to do the math. The, 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 when I was scrolling up, I messed up. But it was like, it's, I'm following like 35 or something. Around there, I would guess. Based on my estimates from looking vaguely at that list. 
And that's too much for me. I can barely follow... I can, I can barely hang out in the channels of the ones that I do follow. So I can't... I can't merit doing it, I don't think. Bird follows 900? Or Dragon follows 900? If I clear out your list. Eh, maybe. Oh no, they destroyed all my my builders. Alright, it's time for the wasp swarm. Prepare to die, humans. The wasps are coming. You pushed in too far. You've stirred up the hive. Uh-oh, they put the laser beam back down. That's actually really bad for me. It's kind of making jokes, but that's actually a problem. Send in the bees. Three hundred eighty-one. Wow. I don't. I don't. I can't. I feel kind of bad now. Like I could. I could follow that many people. It wouldn't. It wouldn't hurt me in any way. I just wouldn't be able to like follow them closely. But I've chosen not to. <laughs> There's no reason I chose not to. Really. Like realistically, it's just a my like. <laughs> A minor inconvenience for me to like have so many things pop up at once because then I have to like make that crippling decision of which channel I want to like pop into, you know? Like, oh, there's so many channels I could like spoiled for choice, and I'd be like, ugh, what should I do? I forgot that it doesn't use the username part anymore. Twitch recently made a list private so you can only get your own list. Oh, really? That's weird. That still implies you follow 900 people though. You're at 436? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Why does it say 900 then, I wonder? You do you. You don't have to follow a ton of people. I know. I, I get that. I just feel kind of weird. Because, like, it doesn't... Like, it literally doesn't... There's no reason for me not to. It doesn't affect anything except it makes the follow list a little bit hard to, like, look at. Like, realistically speaking, there's no reason not to. It'll just, it'll literally just support other streamers. Definitely gets crazy when like 30 people are on at once. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm nervous about, I guess. You follow people you watched for at least an hour or so and didn't hate. Oh, well, I'm flattered. <laughs> like, like, you know. Okay, that's not working. I need to send the wasp swarm in again, as usual. Oh, the titans aren't doing anything. I can send them in too. Go, my bees! Take them out again! Don't let them build their defenses in my territory again, because that was a nightmare. I'm gonna turn it on to attack mode, because we don't need to worry about the. Uh, Production anymore. We're making more than enough. The bees and the bugs. Alright. Build a wall across here. That one human just like harassing my bugs from behind. Really should just like kind of count your blessings over there, bud. <laughs> like, I know you're just doing your job back there, but I've chosen not to kill you yet. You could just stop attacking me and I won't even bother. go. Reduction of the hives up here. Okay, and then all the titans can go into this area with the swarmers. And then the swarm obviously can just do whatever it wants. Late to your meeting? No! Hurry! Get out of here! I don't have control over Bert's meeting anymore. That was a different game. before you say anything going by that another scissor. Yeah. I, I know that Dragon you followed me from um uh Outer Wilds, but I don't remember any of your chats until you started chatting in Hades. I don't know if that's the first time you spoke or just the first time I remember seeing your chat pop up. And that was a while after <laughs> like you would have followed me probably. But, you know. 
And so Grim was. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't tend to say anything because I'm usually doing something that like, <laughs> not because I don't want to, just because like, I'm usually doing something and then by the time I, I like get to the point where I could like pop over and type something, I'm like, oh, it's bit, it's kind of like late now. <laughs> not, it wouldn't make sense to say it now. That sort of situation. This game lags really bad when you have this many things going on at once. Go, my titans! Go! My wasps as well! This is a really... Surprising this is a huge map. It didn't feel like it was this big, but now that I've like gone through most of it, it feels really big. Swarm mothers can go here. Crunch, 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 crunch. I'm gonna get through that dropship eventually. You just wait. Builder bugs are like not producing very much. I think it's because I have too many swarmers. Is that what it is? I have 300 swarmers. Yeah, that's what it is. There's too many swarmers. Charge! Just everything charge. I don't actually need to. I probably don't even need to focus anymore. I could probably just send everything that's going at this stage. I might try to put some stuff down to stop the little bugs from going through, but little uh, little robots that rebuild things. Others can go here. Everything else is just gonna slowly push in and win me the win me the day. Just one. It's gonna build something really annoying, I know it. Just watch it slowly. It's gonna build a solar panel. Oh, look at my turret got it. Oh, I built a wall. What a jerk. I need that spot for my wall. Oops, nope, not them. Hydrate. This bottle's almost empty. They have a full bottle next to me. Work again for a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> it's too late. I finished drinking before you told me to drown. Therefore, you lost your chance. <laughs> You're way too late, yeah. Okay, what is taking up all my spots? It's the builders. Where are the builders at? Oh, up there. That's exactly where I told them to be. I actually did, I didn't expect this to take this long. I thought I thought for sure I'd be done within the hour. Swarm gathers to kill. <laughs> the sound is broken. The sound won't even like work properly because of all the loud explosions happening. I'll probably turn off builder production at this stage. Honestly, I just wanted to like get them up to here. What's happening? What? Why can't I build there? That's odd. I'm not allowed to build on that like one like area because the bugs haven't like conquered it with goop or something else. I don't know. I'm not allowed to build there now. Maybe there's supposed to be drop ships dropping down there or something. Oh, 45 stream streak. Nice. Wow. <laughs> cool. I've never done anything for 45 days in a row? Speaking of never done anything for 45 days in a row, how's your paper mache going? <laughs> that kind of sounded like a call out. That wasn't what I was <laughs> intentionally meaning for. I meant like, you said you weren't sure how long it would take or if you were going to keep on working on it, so I was curious <laughs> if you're still doing it. Turn off these ones now. Oh, these don't even get built. That's fine. Ah, oh, the wasp swarm. Tex. Meow. Apparently drying or not drying because of its humid rainy day. Oh, well, yeah, that happens. But cool.
Is it drying for the final time, or is it drying in between pasting sessions? Can I actually put the wasps over here on this edge? I kind of want to take out these guys, but they're, like, being a pain, <laughs> and they won't, like, you know, go close enough to the edge. I'm slowly putting my, my builders closer and closer. I could feasibly just build a million artillery turrets here. Just for fun. Ah, oh, they're still dropping off troops. That's what's going on. I was wondering what was happening. Go! My laggy bugs! I mean, it made some good progress, all things. There's so many wasps. There's so many bugs. Go, my pretties. In between, probably 2 to 20, 2 of 20. Okay. I haven't done paper mache in a long time, so I don't remember how, how long it takes to do anything. I remember it taking longer than I expected, and I always remember it being very, very messy, but I've never actually finished a project, I don't think. Are you just doing, like, one one part a day, or... Are you able to do more than one when, it's, when it actually, like, behaves and dries properly? something. We've got almost all of these turrets up and running, which seems entirely unnecessary, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I could add some more titans up here, probably, just for fun. I'm about to win. I don't need to... I'm, not gonna... I'm probably not even gonna finish those before I bust in here and destroy them. In a warm, dry weather, you can get a lot done. It's been wet for a few days. Ah, yeah, I gotcha. Put it in the oven on low temp after the first day. Yeah, that's what I do when I'm trying to, like, dry out anything. Like, <laughs> anything that isn't, like, you know, at risk of burning at that heat. Even even the lowest temperature is pretty... can get kind of warm if you're not careful. How much more armor does this thing have? Maybe I should build, like, a couple of defender bugs and send them down here. Just because defender bugs can strip armor. <laughs> They'll probably be dead before they get there, but... I don't know. I don't really need builder bugs at this stage. Just mass-produced wasps will get there. Oh, I, didn't even <laughs> I haven't even been sending the builder bugs in, that's why. Oh, they've been increased spawn rate as well, so that instead of attack damage, oh, there's just more of them coming. Whee! Okay, we got rid of the last spawner, finally. Now it's just a matter of taking the rest of them out. There you go, area conquered. Now we have the research lab with unspent evolution points. I really do want to try out the um, little uh, what's it that I have? I might put that on. I don't really need it. So there's like this this one bug that I haven't used at all since the start of the game, and there's no reason I haven't used them because I don't. They're just kind of like underwhelming a little bit, but like they're right here. The spiners, like, I haven't upgraded them at all, and I have no reason to not have done that. I guess just because they are kind of too short range to use regularly. I mean, I, they might be fine. <laughs> kind of, It's like the last couple of missions, I may as well try them out. <laughs> I can spawn some now. All right, we got a decent amount of like space to work with. Doesn't bode well for me because that usually means that I'm gonna get really, really badly attacked. Just filling all this terrain. I wish you could like mass produce this stuff. Like to have like a paint bucket tool that just fills the whole area. 
Uh, where are we at? Oh, this is actually a really small map. I guess it's just going to be really difficult because of the positioning. I say difficult. It's going to be really easy because all I have to do is build some wasps and send them around the edges. But it would be difficult if that wasn't an option. Attack with everything except for builders and some mothers, please. And then mass produce some mothers. I'm gonna need them. I can't I can't push past this location at all, so. Once I go down here, I guess. Where's the edge of that attack? Like there, yeah, it's it's a bit too narrow. I wouldn't really I wouldn't really risk it. Paper mache doesn't normally take 20 sessions, but you know from previous projects, you're extremely nitpicky. And there'll be a lot of sanding and layering and sanding again. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. You do you. Do what you what do what you gotta do to make yourself proud of the project. No harm in being thorough. All I ask is that you keep me updated on the project, because I'm quite interested. Are you planning on, like, painting it and stuff, too? Or are you, like, making, like, colored paper stuff? Like, work as the... Finished product. It's hard to keep asking questions. I'm not sure if you're lurking or not, but I'm just asking because I figure I'm don't have many other things to do here and wait for my bugs to spawn. Go! Kill the turret. Kill the people. Kill the bugs. I mean, the them. No, I'm the bugs. Don't kill the bugs. That's me. Keep the bugs alive. I need to build, like, a defensive wall here. I can get a little bit of extra space to work with. And then send them into there. It's kind of hard to do with that many lasers going off. Ah, oh, dang, they built the laser back up. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I need to get in here and stop, like, stop this section. Which isn't difficult, but I need to take care of this whole bit here first, because there's a lot of enemies just harassing my bugs as they try to, like, do anything. But honestly, I could probably just let the wasps go in there, and over time they'll just sort of <laughs> do enough work. I won't have to worry about it. Last layers will be white, and it looks... It'll look like unglazed pottery. Oh, okay. Good. Not doing anything much. Just sorting through items through Valheim. Alright, cool. Well then. If I come up with any of their questions, I will ask them. Otherwise, I will just ramble to myself about how good wasps are. Because they are very good. <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever heard me say that or not, but they sure are. Very, very good. Crazy, I know. True. Alright. So aside from the really obnoxious laser turrets, everything is going fine. I've finally pushed in here. I need to put a defensive wall up to stop the little builder bots from getting in there. But otherwise, I think we're good. I can start pushing into uh, this upper section. I, I feasibly, I could actually just go up there and destroy those with the wasps and then push in with everything else. Up to there. Because those turrets are pretty easy to break. As long as I can get up to here and like push into this section and put up a defensive turret, or a defensive wall, I'll be okay. You're not new, Bert, but hello. Welcome back from your meeting, I assume. How was it to be late? Did it, was it, was it, <laughs> was it exciting? Was it fun? Uh, to, to play hooky for a bit? Really by accident? <laughs> the 
liberating to to become late to your meeting. Attack my wasps, do it again. Very fun, yes. Well, good. As long as, as long as you had fun, you know? This video meeting, not even sure if anybody actually noticed. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe not, but <laughs> this. Provided it doesn't make a noise when you enter or leave. Everybody's in the middle of a conversation and you suddenly get that, like, like, you know, Zoom or Discord join noise out of nowhere. And everybody knows. I may have to, um... Well, I guess it's working. It's it's working slowly. It is working, though. <laughs> I'll say I may have to, like, approach this from a different angle and strategize a bit better, but... The wasps are just gonna win it for me every time. Unless the final area learns from my wasp play and is like, Oh no, they're sending thousands of wasps! Set up the anti-wasp artillery strikes or whatever, like the flak cannons. The giant wasp flak cannons. Then we're probably pretty safe to <laughs> beat the final mission. <laughs> I didn't even use these things. Just give me starting nutrients. <laughs> the poor spiners just completely ignored. The vital military compound. Now, I'm worried about this one. How hard is this going to be? That's actually not that big. I really thought it would be bigger than this. Oh, they have a lot of turrets, I guess. That's kind of a problem. Okay. Uh, mothers, hide away, please. Um, everything else can just, like, run this direction, I guess. I can put a bunch of turrets here. Oh, actually, I need to put the walls there, don't I? Well, maybe. Turrets there, pustules everywhere else. I didn't disable my bugs. Um, more of these. Yeah, I can't go to. I can't even go to there. Jeez. All right. Take one step back. All bugs here, and then everything else can just attack. Or maybe, maybe the everything. Eh, yeah, yeah. All bugs attack, and then the builders can stay here with the mothers. I don't have to worry about being attacked from this angle, which is great. The mothers do not want to like adhere to my my pins. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the tried and true wasp strat, I think, based on how many bugs are being murdered, and how little progress I'm making. Who, who could have guessed? But yeah, because I need like I need to cut off this section here and reinforce my own building. Even even like here would work. As soon as I get like this section cordoned off, I can like produce a huge amount of um, bugs with no issues. It requires me like brute force rushing this area, which pays off pretty well most of the time. But not always. It's certainly paying off this time. <laughs> okay. Need some hives up here, please. I'm gonna put some walls right here. It's gonna be that little annoying, uh, like, radiation trap, which I'm gonna have to destroy with these turrets. But we're good mostly otherwise. Okay, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna make that four, actually. For the sake of um, maximum production for what I have access to. I'm also going to put the artillery right here. It's not like... I don't... I honestly couldn't tell you how effective the artillery is. But I just feel like it is... It must be useful for something. Although I did think that about the, the, the soldiers as well. The soldier bugs. And that didn't work out. Go, we, the bees. Wow, 
Uh, it died pretty quick, actually. That was a lot of that was a lot of dead bugs. Okay, what I want to do is get some um, of the defender bugs on the go. Leave the mothers over here. Make some defender bugs. I need to knock the armor out of those two machines. And the only way to do that is to use the defender bugs to strip armor. Builders can go here. I didn't mean to knock out that wall. That was actually protecting me. But now that it's gone, I might as well just, like, defend it. And it also gives me the option to use up all this terrain, too. I can turn on this again and just have them producing from seven different areas for no reason. Now the defenders are being made. I can send them down here. There should be several built up. Wow, it's a lot of defenders. Holy crap. I didn't know I had that many. <laughs> A bit too many, I think. Just just a bit. Just a few. Ooh. Okay, turn off defenders now. Probably enough. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> as long as we're stripping armor, we'll do max damage to everything. Yeah, nothing has any armor anymore. I've mass produced over here perfectly well. I need a few more builders over here doing their thing. Nice, nice, nice. Turn it onto attack mode, please. That way everything does a little bit more damage. And then these will be destroyed. And we just have to push down to here. We're almost done already. Like, this mission's half done. You would have thought the humans would be so piddly and weak. Pathetic. Okay, now that we're up here, I'm going to put more hives that direction. I'm going to add some titan eggs for fun. Gonna add the wall here. It's not gonna be that useful yet, but you know, eventually. Two lines of turrets to defend me. Then a bunch of pustules for mass production for if I decide to do something silly. These are not pustules, those are turrets. Those can stay. I don't really care. <laughs> Just have a very incredibly powerful backline. Wholly unnecessary, but you know. If they get back there, they're going to regret it. Put the wasps over here for now. Oh, I just kind of rushed in there and blasted everything up. Swarmers there. Mothers can move up to here with the builders. What else do we got? Oh, no, I'm going to stop producing here and one there. That way they all kind of focus from one angle because I need this section built up more than this section. And the wasp can just do their business, as always. In you go. Whee! It's really scary. There's um. This okay. I don't. Mm, there's a. Oh God, I don't even know what to call it. There's this web comic, this Korean web comic. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's called like Hive or Wasp or something like that. It's like a horror one. It's a horror web comic. And it involves, like, like just giant wasps invading, like, regular human society. And, like, an apocalypse just caused by wasps, or bugs in general, maybe. And I, I was following it a lot. And it was so, like, 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 um, like human-sized, or, like, maybe slightly larger than humans. Um... So quite large, you know, quite quite giant. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but I think it was called like Hive. And uh, I remember reading it and like being really enthralled with it. And then I don't know why I stopped reading it, but I really need to remember what it's called and try to get back into it because I imagine it's probably either been canceled or finished by now. Because I, I read a lot of Korean web comics just because I think they're more interesting than a lot of stuff. Um, but, like, one of my favorites is called, like... Oh, man, what is this? <laughs> They're all, like, named really silly things. Like, Fantasy Adventures of the Sword King in, like, a fantasy world or something. It's, like, that's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> it's such a convoluted, weird name. But if you get a chance, and you like, you happen to like reading webcomics, the Adventures of a... This, the... 
sword king in a fantasy land or whatever the heck I just said. It's quite good. So is like the there's one called Overgeared, which is quite good, and another one called the um Strongest Florist is also quite funny. Oh, and there's another one too. What's that one called? There's another there's another one that's really good where like a dude gets his like powers stolen. And he gets set back to level one. He's a video game character. It's pretty common uh, in that genre. <laughs> he's like a video game character. He gets set back to level one because he's like a pompous jerk. And everybody hates him. And he gets his powers just like ripped out of him. Uh, he has to like build it back up from level one. And he like gets humbled and becomes a better person generally over time. That's quite good. I don't know what it's called though. And I heard recently they made an anime of um, solo leveling, which is quite a good, quite a good manhwa, like webcomic. I used to follow. I'm having a really hard time pushing this last section for some reason. I guess I'm not building up very much. I could just sit back here and build up. Move the swarm mothers up. Um, swarmers in constantly for harassment purposes. Get the... What is the, What is using up all my space? It's the wasps. Yeah, wasps and builders. Whee. It's very wave survival. You have to like you have to like bust in all at once or not at all. That's a pretty good wave. And uh, you again, then build back up over here, please. I don't really need anything. Like I don't need any more points or anything to build with. The Titans are going in and just dying immediately because I haven't bothered, like, strategizing their movement, but... I need to, like, keep sending them in consistently. I wanted to get the builders to push in further so I can get some speed boosts, but they're not, like, doing what I need them to do. I'm trying to build instead of, like, put down their carpets. I need them to put down carpets. I could build it with closer hives, I guess. That might help. Because the wasps are, wasps are able to like push in pretty far on their own. But if I keep putting like dribs and drabs, they kind of get pushed back slowly, so I have to like save up a big wave at a time. I could feasibly put down a bunch of floor traps over here to like eat all the people that move too far forward. That might be kind of fun. Wops, yeah, well, you know. Whatever word comes out of my mouth is what I mean, surely. Wasps is like a wasp is a really hard word for me to say already. So saying wasps several times in a row is like just a <laughs> just an oral death sentence, if you will. Vernacular death sentence. Probably a better way to say that. Is vernacular the word? What does vernacular mean? Dialect spoken by ordinary people in a particular country or region. Yeah, close enough. It's not not what I want, not exactly what I meant, but it gets the point across. Also, I forgot to close my browser. It doesn't make a huge difference, but you know, this is not going well. <laughs> this is the final mission, and I cannot push forward. Can I put some more artillery down? There is, my artillery's not even doing anything back here. I need my artillery up here. Teach them who's boss. Those are all turned off. Did I turn off these ones up here? I didn't. Probably part of the reason it's so difficult to like do this. Because they're not spawning from the right location. Okay, wasps. Over here. Hang out on the sidelines while I somehow figure out how to generate enough allies to, like, push forward. I'm gonna spawn some swarm mothers, too, and just have them, like, hang back and spawn constant waves of little guys. The ones I did have, I don't know where they went. They must have gotten killed, but I wasn't paying attention. There we go. And the wasps are really bunching up over there, which is great. We're just about ready to attack. Right. Ow. Go! My bees! A final push. You can do it. Yeah, 
Yes. Now quickly send in builders to like block off that terrain because I don't want them to rebuild. them into a corner and blast them like this because it's too hard to like deal with them normally all bugs attack you can do it this is the final mission i think i imagine maybe possibly it's hard to be sure it doesn't tell me it just it just called it the final military compound so i just sort of assumed that it is i guess i could have looked it up online before the stream started but i didn't think about it too busy watching someone play Fallout for five and a half hours <laughs> or whatever, and having a, having a fun time not thinking about stream. <clears throat> Once again, the pathetic human homeworld. Get out, all of you. I see you hiding there. Finally, now I relax. Enjoy my new planet. Great work, Junior. Just a reminder, Intergalactic Murder School starts tomorrow. Your mother wants you home now. <laughs> no, I'm staying here. I don't need school. Very well. I've turned off the transpatial internet on your... <laughs> no, no! I couldn't even read that. Fine, I'm coming home. They have, like, little cute noises, but I figured I should read them out and loud anyway. Anyway, that's Buggo's finally done. <laughs> this took a while, but it's fun. Um, cool. I liked it. It was great. Good fun. Is this, is this about you? What is this? Is this? Yeah, there's your, there's your there's your credits. But I can't like, I guess I can talk over these. You know, very brief credits. Great game. Had a good time. Really enjoyed it. Very fun. Very short. A lot of good times. Just generally quite nice. It's a, it's a, it's kind of fun to play an RTS. It doesn't take a whole lot of like time or effort or strategy. You can just sort of <laughs> wave assault until you win. Um, but yeah, you know, it's done. Good. Gotta switch games now. Cause I planned on switching games at one hour, but it's almost two hours now, so I may as well just do it now. <clears throat> oh, give me a moment while I turn on this screen and start up my other one. The other game I had planned. You're, not, you're never going to guess what it's going to be. Cause it's going to be really out of left field. You can take guesses in chat if you want to try and see if you can figure out what game I'm playing. You'll never get it, so don't bother, but you could if you want. Two games in one stream? Yeah, I know. It's great, right? What a, what a, what a magic experience that everybody definitely wants and experiences on a regular basis. Um, <laughs> let me also change the stream title. I ruined the, the guest game. It's it's cause it's my it's my it's the day that I usually play like relaxing games, and uh, I figure I should just do um <laughs> do something relaxing. You know, can I like lean forward and see what I'm writing here? Yeah, there you go. Talking into the side of my microphone. <laughs> 